Raise your hand, we'll bring a microphone to you. Taki, you've obviously played with Malachi for a couple of years now. Does he ever do anything where y'all see it on tape where y'all just like, how? How did that guy get there? How did he make that play? No, yeah, no doubt. Uh, so, like I said, multiple times, I think he's a real special player. I think y'all gonna get to see that for the next uh, couple of years. Real special player. Uh, looking forward to seeing him. I, I look forward to going out there to see him make a real exciting player every weekend. Tucky, you gotta ask about the strap mob necklace. What's the parameters behind it? How long do you get to wear it? And uh, just what's it been like for you getting it this week? Uh, so yeah, uh, I think it go into like um, if you had the best week of practice and then uh, kind of your performance after that week. Uh, so it's voted on by the DBs and you get to wear it for a week. So um, I have it for this week and then Saturday it'll go to the next person that had the best week of this practice and um, performance on Saturday. Ducky to your left. Um, after the game, Kirby said he felt they were headed in the right direction because last Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of practice was arguably the best practices he's seen since he's been here. During those moments, does he tell you you guys are practicing well? Does he make you feel positive or is he still on you for certain things? Um, he got his moments with that. Uh, so I think uh, the leadership, the leaders of the team do a real good job of trying to um, hold the standard so Coach Smart don't got to say much. So we know if it's um, not up to the standard, we're kind of, kind of, um, um, kind of, I don't really know the word for it, but um, kind of speak on it so everybody kind of know that we got to pick it up. Tucky, you got a couple starts on your belt this season. How do you feel like you're fitting in starting on this defense, and what are the ways you want to improve going forward? Um, real excited about that. Um, just trying to keep coming along, uh, taking it week by week. Um, like I said, again, more comfortable and comfortable. Um, and then I think the coaches do a good job of putting together the right game plan. And then, um, like I said, so we go out there and feel comfortable. Taiki, what's your uh, diagnosis of uh, Spencer Rattler and what helped you guys be so successful against him last season? Um, that's going to go back to uh, just us executing the game plan with the coaches putting together. I think Coach Shu, Coach Muschamp, and the rest of the defensive staff do a real good job as far as like getting us in the right stuff uh, for what they're going to call and uh, the personnel that they're going to run. And then that's basically it. Tucky, obviously you, uh, you transferred here, you're making plays. I wondered if you had a chance Saturday night to watch a couple of guys that left here and, and they're making plays now with uh, A.D. Mitchell and Jermaine Burton, uh, you know, seeing them you know, have some success elsewhere. Yeah, so real excited for the guys, excited for the game that they had against each other on Saturday. Um, it was a real good game. Um, kind of saw those moments sometimes in practice uh, for the one time that they was here. So uh, excited for them that they got to go out there on Saturday and kind of showcase it. Taiki, I think I saw you were one of the captains. What does that mean to you to be a game captain and have you know, been into this culture and grown into this role? Uh, means a lot. Uh, just uh, being voted by a captain by the uh, coaches. Uh, just me and made a big uh, jump from last year to this year as far as like the positivity role and then um, kind of um, trying to be a leader of the team and uh, kind of taking on that leadership role. Hecky, how do you feel like the rest of the secondary handled playing when Javon went out on Saturday? And if he does have to miss sometimes, what's the challenge of having to play without Javon? Uh, I think the coaches do a real good job as far as like cross training people. So I think we got a lot of guys on the back end that could go in multiple positions if we needed them. Uh, so real excited for the way Dan Jackson and uh, David came in and stepped up at the moment. Um, so yeah. Mitch, being a leader and holding guys accountable. Are you uh, getting your face guy loud, you know, wild, or are you kind of quiet, demeanor? How do you lead and get the guys in line? So I think it kind of depends on the, uh, the situation. Uh, so sometimes I might get loud, sometimes I might just lead by example, or I could pull a guy to the side because everybody responds kind of differently. I guess, what's it like playing that star position? I know there's a lot of coaches that come through there and, and kind of help out with that position, but playing for Coach Muschamp particularly, what, what's it like playing for him? Coach uh, <laughs> Muschamp, man, real. Uh, so when I got here, was real very excited to meet him from uh, as far as like the um, the resume he had and a few and the past I met. Uh, so was real excited to kind of get here and meet him. So uh, just being able to build that bond with him since I got here in 2021, been real excited, and then. Uh, 
I think everybody in the back end is getting it all just for him and the way he helped us in uh, certain ways. Becky, how big of a boost do you feel like it is for the defense going forward that you guys got those three turnovers on Saturday and just trying to carry that forward? Uh, so that's a momentum change, just trying to uh, do that week in, week out. I think we put a big emphasis on as far as this yeah, and turnovers trying to uh, change the momentum of the game. Techie, we talked about Spencer Rattler, but they've also uh, got Antoine Wells Jr. back for another season. Um, just based on especially what you saw last year and leading up to this game, how do you face a guy like that? Uh, I think he's going to have a I think from year one or year two, I think them two going to have a better connection as far as like being more comfortable in that system, uh, being around each other with the connection. So definitely looking forward to the challenge uh, on the back end with the back end guys. And uh, like I said, looking forward to the challenge. Thank you. I, I know you've probably seen Dylan Bell in practice a lot more than we have, but, but what would you say about that that run he had? And was was there any team film review where people saw that? Was there any reaction? Uh, so seeing him the last couple weeks at uh, playing running back here and there, uh, kind of making those cuts in practice, and then uh, y'all got to see him being uh, being able to get in and out of cuts and showing that he's real explosive. He built like a running back too. <laughs> Yeah, so you obviously played a big role at West Virginia your freshman year, and you're not playing a ton in your first two years here at Georgia. How reassuring is it to you that you're now back out there starting and going out there and making plays, having the interception this past weekend, given that it's easy, especially with the injury you had, to maybe have some depth creep in about how you know confident you are in yourself? Yeah, so yeah, that was the biggest thing. Was, uh, just getting confidence back, um, kind of get myself back in shape. Uh, I think last year I was, I was trying to play myself back in shape. Don't think I was necessarily in shape, and don't think – I had the confidence going into camp last year that I did this year. As far as like that was my first time back doing football in a minute. So um, beginning of last season, I also don't think I was as far as like already hitting high enough speeds or still in a knee brace. At that time, I was in like a bigger knee brace. Um, so this year, just having more confidence and uh, playing with playing with a little bit more swagger to me. Okay, more questions for Taiki. All right, thank you, Ducky. Thanks, Ducky.